As boaters flock to the lakes for the long holiday weekend, law enforcement agencies are working to make sure everyone is safe out there. I went to Keystone Lake today and talked with boaters about the steps they take to make sure they make it home. Calm lake, nice sunrise. It's the peacefulness of the morning water that brought fisherman Mike Adkins to Keystone Lake on Monday. Came out this morning to enjoy the weather and the lake before it get, got too busy, catch some fish. As he was packing up, David Montgomery and his crew were putting their boat on the water. We've tried to find a secluded area where it's just nice and quiet and you don't hear anything, but you know, the wind and just nothing, that stillness. After enduring the busy crowds over the weekend. It was crazy. I mean, every campsite, every inch of cut grass on the beach had tents on it everywhere you looked. There were people everywhere here. Montgomery says he was out Monday morning hoping for a bit more peace, but area lakes and rivers are seeing big crowds for the long holiday weekend. It has law enforcement agencies like OHP and GRDA police keeping a close eye on the water. OHP's Marine Enforcement Division is focused on impaired boating. They say in the last week, the agency had three boating under the influence arrests on Oklahoma lakes, and they're seeing more BUIs this year than last. GRDA says they're out in full force for patrols and assisting boaters. It's all about having a safe outing. Making sure that you have all your, your life preservers on the boat, um, having a responsible driver, somebody that's not out here drinking and boating. Approved flotation devices, signal device, marker lights on your boats. For Atkins and Montgomery, they want to have a good time and make it home safely. OHP says alcohol use is the leading contributing factor in recreational boater fatalities. They tell us along with a few arrests, they also had a serious injury crash involving alcohol over the last week.